Indy Mogul. Hey, wait a minute. This guy's not Persian. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of some tan white guy in Persia. Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time. And there are those who would use this power to destroy the world. Time will erase everything. The only way to stop this Armageddon is for us to take the dagger to the secret guardian temple. We must take it there, Dastan. Why, Hollywood, why? None of these people is even remotely Persian. Ben Kingsley is the only one representing. And why pick Jake Gyllenhaal, who has a lousy box office track record? You know who has a great box office track record? Bollywood. This film mecca rivals the American film business, selling over three billion tickets a year, twice the number of tickets sold in the United States and Canada combined. And one of Bollywood's biggest stars right now is Hrithik Roshan. Now there's a prince of Persia. He does stunts, dancing, and he's a respected actor. If we can regularly import Australian actors, why not Indian actors? And he's already bankable in America, proven by the fact that his latest film, Kites, was released in the U.S. last weekend and debuted in the number 10 spot, despite only playing in 208 theaters. But alas, this is Jerry Bruckheimer's Prince of Persia. Will Bruckheimer be able to create another hit franchise a la Pirates of the Caribbean? Disney sure hopes so. Imagine an adventure land that features both Pirates of the Caribbean and Prince of Persia rides. Prince of Persia certainly has a huge fan base, with the video game debuting back in 1989. Since then, it's blossomed into one of the biggest video game franchises in the world. And yet somehow, this is reading as a live-action Aladdin. you that the Prince of Persia wasn't Persian? No, not at all. Not at all, no. It, it Maybe because I'm not either, you know, but um, <laughs> it didn't bother me at all. Yeah, well, we talked about that a little bit, the Caucasian Prince of Persia, yeah. but <laughs> it's Jake Gyllenhaal, so who cares? He pulls it off. Not really. I wondered more about the actress, because I seemed she had freckles in that scene. <laughs> She's British. <laughs> right. No. No? <laughs> you know, it did bother what? me. What? The dialogue was absolutely uh, horrendously bad. It kind of gets silly at a couple of times, <laughs> weird writing during the film. The romantic scenes were almost like unnecessary in certain parts. Jake Gyllenhaal is my new boyfriend. Um, oh my gosh, I love him. Jake you like did great. Oh yeah? It was, yeah? It was yeah. a good movie. The action was excellent. The intensity level was kept up throughout the film. Um, I was, you know, in suspense in a lot of moments. It got long in the middle and I got kind of bored in the middle. I liked some of the jumping around in the beginning. It was a lot of fun. Great Parker fight scenes if you're into that. Ooh. Running, jumping, sliding, cool flips and stuff, which I really like. This one wanted to come last night at midnight. Like, I had to fight him to not... <sighs> And I told him we'd be asleep by midnight, which we were. So, no, I was kind of iffy on it, but oh my gosh, it was so good. Oh, really? I think that Prince of Persia really uh, lived up to my expectations. It was uh, something that I was anticipating, and um, it fulfilled all, all, all the requirements that I wanted in a movie such like that. Well, I, I thought it was going to be terrible. Yeah. yeah. So, so you went in with low expectations. What, what pulled you out of it? Just the excitement, the intensity, uh, there's there's all these things to view just from the get-go. We saw the review before we saw this and um, I totally disagree. The review I'm in total disagreement with, I thought it was, I liked it. On an ad today for this movie, they were like, move over Indiana Jones. Do you think Indiana Jones should move over for Prince of Persia? Pretty much. Oh, really? Oh, that was a bold statement. So you really liked it? Yes, very much. Harrison so, Ford is the yeah. man still for yeah. Indiana Jones, but oh. Jake did the If they would have just made it a silent movie, it would have done great. <laughs> It was a diversion that I needed, but I wouldn't tell other people to go see it. What would you say to your friends if they were like, should I see Prince of Persia? Um, well, if they asked that, I would say, see it as soon as possible. I like this, like, uh, enough to where I can see it, you know, being a franchise or a sequel, so. Really? We may actually make the midnight showing of the sequel, because we kind of want to know what happens Ah, so next. now you'll go. Oh, right? definitely, yes. I promise, I hereby promise, let's shake on it. I'll nice. take you to see the sequel at midnight. What do you give it a one to ten? Um, I'd probably give it an 8. I would probably give it like a 7. 4, 10. 10 for sure. A 9. 5. I'll give it 8. 8.5. 9. Well, as outraged as I might be, no one else seems to be that miffed that a tan white guy is running around Persia, and they give the movie a 7.5. And don't forget, The Prince of Persia is the focus of this week's One Sentence Review Challenge. If you've seen the movie, leave your 1 to 10 rating below, as well as your One Sentence Review. Whoever writes the best one gets a free pair of AMC movie tickets, and I'll announce the winner this Sunday on my Facebook page. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and you've just gone beyond the trailer.